hello in this video we will be calculating crack width for RCC sections as per IS 456-2000 okay the IS 456 clause number is given and next four for which design crack width is WCR equals to 3 ACR the into epsilon M divided by 1 plus 2 bracket ACR minus C minimum divided by H minus X terminologies are given you can read it or we will solve and you will understand let us assume this is width of section depth of section we will let us assume given data is moment is 168 width of section is 1000 mm depth of section is 500 mm clear cover to the reinforcement is 50 mm then diameter of bars in tension are 25 mm and number of bars is 5 mm this is just a diagrammatic representation don't go on numbers so if we find out the area of steel in tension that is 5 by 4 into d square that is 25 square into number of bars that is 5 you will get 2454.06 mm square and in we are assume in comparison there are 20 mm dia bars and number of bars is 5 for same area of steel in comparison you can calculate now characteristic strength of concrete and steel are given 20 25 let us assume 25 and fy 500 you can assume and modulus, or of modulus of elasticity of steel is 2 to 10 to power 5 let us assume the spacing between two bars will be 200 mm okay so effective cover will get as clear cover plus diameter of bar divided by 2 that is in tension zone and in cover so effective cover in comparison zone will get uh, clear cover plus diameter of bar that is 50 plus 20 divided by 2 equals 60 mm okay and then effective depth that is from top of compression phase to center of area of steel will get d equals to effect uh, sorry overall depth minus effective cover so we will get for 37.5 mm and for crack width is code is 456 states as per clause number 35.3.2 there are three conditions okay for not so adverse condition moderate and severe in for not so adverse condition means uh, crack width allowable is 0.3 mm uh, where minor cracks can be allowed in moderate the structures which have contact in with soil or in water the allowable crack width is 0.2 mm and for severe conditions it is 0.1 mm okay so we will assume moderate condition for this example so design crack width formula we have seen in annex 4 as per is 456 okay so acr is longitudinal distance from bar to the nearest surface where we can see the crack we can calculate the crack over in this direction here also from this bar to this corner also but major chances are there crack will form between two bars okay so how to find acr we'll use the help of pythagoras theorem we have the effective cover okay we have this d then spacing we'll find this triangle okay let us assume this is the triangle we are getting now okay we have this height we have this base that is s by 2 this is effective cover we can easily get that hypotenuse then we have to deduct this radius of this bar we'll get acr okay so that is formula equals to d effective square plus s by 2 square minus 25 by 2 or whatever that number die of bar will be so we'll get 437.50 okay oh sorry 105.42 that is acr now to find neutral axis of this section we'll assume compression equals to tension so for compression equals to tension we'll get b into x that is width of the section into depth of neutral axis and we'll take moment at compression phase that is stopped equals to uh, multiply by x by 2 
ओके प्लस एम इंटू माइनस वन इंटू ए सी दैट इज एरिया ऑफ स्टील इन कंप्रेशन इन टू दिस विल बी द डिस्टेंस नाउ सो एक्स माइनस डी डैश विल गेट हियर नाउ इक्वेट इट टू टेंशन जोन एम इंटू ए एस टी इन टू इफेक्टिव कवर माइनस न्यूट्रल एक्सिस Sorry, there is an error here. This will be small d. That is effective depth. That is effective depth minus x. We'll get tension. So this will be our equation one. Okay. So. For that we will need value of m, that is modular ratio equals to modulus of elasticity of steel upon modulus of elasticity of concrete. Now modulus of elasticity of concrete as per clause six point two of I IS code, that is five thousand under root F C K. For long term, but for long term creep, we have to add this one plus theta in denominator for long term creep conditions. Okay, that is six days, twenty-eight days, and one year. For we'll consider for one year. So for long-term creep, when we substitute five thousand divided by one plus one uh, one point one into under root F C K, that is twenty-five. We'll get long-term creep coefficient one one nine zero five newton per mm square. So modular ratio is equal to two into ten to power five divided by one one nine zero five. We'll get sixteen point eight. When we have uh, calculated 16.8, that is modular ratio, substitute this value in this equation, and you will find the value of x, that is neutral axis. Once you get the neutral axis, you can get the value of y. Okay, that is from the center of neutral axis <coughs> to the area of steel in tension center. So d minus x equals to y. You can find out that here, and a. Is the section from the compression zone uh, height of the section from the compression zone at which we have to uh, find the cracks? In our case, this will be our overall depth, so equals to 500 mm. Now, for design crack width calculation, we have calculated x ACR. Now we have to find out epsilon m. So epsilon m equals to epsilon one. Minus b into h minus x bracket a minus x divided by three into modulus of elasticity of steel into area of steel multiplied by d minus x. Now here again epsilon one is an unknown. For epsilon one there is an another formula that equals to epsilon s multiplied by a minus x divided by d minus x. Okay. Now here again epsilon s is Unknown. So epsilon s equals to movement into y divided by movement of inertia at crack section into modulus of elasticity of concrete for long term creep. You can also take short term creep duration that is 5000 under root F C K. But you have to take care here also you, the value should be same. So for crack section, movement of inertia is equal to b into neutral axis raised to three divided by three plus modular ratio into area of steel. Bracket effective depth minus neutral axis square plus modular of modular ratio minus one into area of steel in compression multiply by bracket neutral axis minus effective depth at top. While after solving this equation, you will get the crack moment inertia that is 4.56 into 10 to power nine. Then substitute this value I C R in epsilon s. We will find out epsilon s value where m equals to movement y. We have calculated I C R and epsilon c we have calculated. So epsilon s we have calculated. Then epsilon uh, a <coughs> sorry. Value of a is also the same as overall depth. Okay, so you will find epsilon one. 
and epsilon s after substituting these values once you get the epsilon m value is 0 0.00081 if the value is less than 0 that is negative there will be no cracking in the section so no need to calculate design crack width also once you calculate F but it is required here so we will calculate design crack width wcr this formula 3 into acr that is acr will be our 105.42 epsilon m equals to we have calculated over here sorry where huh, 0 0.0008126 double two acr and c minimum will be longitudinal clear cover so in our case this is our clear cover i have mentioned it over here 50 mm you can substitute h overall section height minus x neutral axis once you sub calculate you will find the section width if this is less than 0.2 we have consider moderate section okay it is less than 0.2 the our section is safe if for the same condition same loading same thickness of wall our condition is severe it is 0.1 and this is our point 0.177 so it will become unsafe we have to check this thank you